Hide one. It's over here. Welcome to Five Fantasy Thirteen: The Grind. Thirteen two. So I'm here in Academia uh, 400 AF, and I'm just standing by this, by the uh, sensor wall thing, because it automatically throws you into fights. So I don't have to run around or do anything. I could fight in Academia 500 AF and get more, but it's like a few to reset the fights. Here, I can just fight. Yes, I'm not getting any materials for monsters, but just about the the uh, chugabo can take the hits anyway, and the other two are maxed out. So I'll get between 300 to 450 CP every fight here, plus 340 gil isn't bad. I've already maxed out potions, about 99 potions. I haven't spent any CP yet, but I'm up to 15,000. I've done this for about half an hour. I didn't change anything. I hate that. Whenever Windows updates, it's like it throws everything out of whack. How about now? There's nothing in there. Hello? Like, is that better or worse? Like...
We'll go with that. That stinks because I had everything set up just just right. Now it's going to be different from all the other streams. It ticks me off more than more than anything else. All I want is stuff just to stay the same when it comes to to settings and stuff like that. Just stay the same. So everything's consistent. So the uh, new World of Warcraft expansion, I think, came out last night or night before. Something like that, because apparently a lot of streamers have been streaming World of Warcraft. Um, kudos to them! <laughs> I haven't played WoW in many years now. <laughs> So, yay, that's what everybody's watching. <laughs> Not this. Who would want to watch grinding in Final Fantasy 13 too? This probably isn't even a great way to grind, that's what I'm going to do. Savannah's burned down Darnassus? What? That's crazy! I played a Night Elf Priest! Where the heck are the Night Elves now? <laughs> That's crazy. War Warcraft lore got silly. <laughs> when I last played. I'm really hoping all this craziness is leading up to Warcraft 5, even though we're never going to get a Warcraft 5. Or be Warcraft 4, excuse me. We're never going to get a uh, Warcraft 4. But I want it to lead up to that, even though we're never going to get it. This is War Chief of the Horde. That's crazy. 
Now, out of everybody, I never would have thought it'd be so fun. Wow. Hi, AJ. That's crazy. At least in the US, a lot of PS4 games on PlayStation Network are going to be on sale. That's cool. Jaina raised her father's flagship from the bottom of the ocean and flew, yes, she let it fly, into battle against the Horde. That's amazing. Ugh. Jaina's so cool in Warcraft 3. I didn't care for her as much in World of Warcraft, but a little bit you got to interact with her. At least back in the day. I think that's awesome, though. <laughs> so, like, the whole thing for this for this World of Warcraft expansion is kind of something everybody wanted since the beginning, right? Which is Alliance versus Horde. Like, that's the big, the big thing, right? That's what I've seen in, like, ads and stuff like that. That's the... what I got from it. So it makes sense to... Get the proud more ship for an alliance versus horde. Heck yeah. What? Oh, that'd be crazy. According to game game spot, a new time splitters might finally happen after the IP is acquired by THQ. THQ Nordic has announced the subsidiary uh, Couch Media has acquired the IP. <laughs> Oh man, to get a, a time split, a new time splitters game would be crazy. All these years later, this is why this this is exactly why I say I've been saying for the past few years is that everybody's like, oh, I wish we get a sequel of this, but it's never going to happen. And why I say never say never these days, because everything is either getting remade or getting a sequel it feels like even the most obscure thing might might get something so don't count anything out the, the, these these days as a gamer it is perfectly fine to to hope it's like oh man that thing's never getting a sequel you can't say that anymore if especially if time splitters Gets, gets a new game. Anything is possible. <laughs> Time Splitters is hilarious, though. If you don't know Time Splitters, it's a, uh, it's a shooter in the uh, PS2. I want to say it was era. There were three games. There was Time Splitters, Time Splitters Two, and Time Splitters Future something. I think there were three games. 
Uh, the main the main pro tag was funny. He liked to uh, he would like use puns and overall it was a decent shooter. It just had a had like a different different flavor to it. To me, I always thought they were they were all right. I'm telling you, someday, someday, a, a person's going to be head of like a small company, like a subsidiary of a big company, that's going to be a, that is a huge fan of Legend of Dragoon, and we're going to get a Legend of Dragoon, either sequel or remake or something. It will happen. Yeah, it's just nobody's here, AJ, so don't freak out, that's why nobody's talking. I'm used to it. Look at Prince of Persia. Yeah, look at Prince of Persia. I mean, that series was gone for a while, and it, it came back. I'm telling you, don't, don't lose hope for a Legend of Dragoon sequel, or like any sequel of your favorite game. A sequel or a remake or something of a game you really like coming back. These are the days. These are the days for it. That's amazing. Because all it takes is one, all it takes is is one company to be like, I really love that game. Why don't we we bring that back? Especially if you get enough fans to like ask, ask for it. People have always asked for, like, for example, like Legend of Dragoon, because it was the first thing that popped to mind. A Legend of Dragoon. Sequel. Or prequel or something. Or just something. And all it takes is, is one one person higher up in a small video game company be like, yeah, I really liked that. And to have like the big company acquire it and then work on it. Like it's more viable now than ever before. That's awesome. Try this. Crusader, Crusader Normal slash Regret sequel end up being a third person shooter rather than an isometric game. Probably because you got to get with the times. I don't know that game. But... You know, it'll have more. Mechanics used these days, you say. Up to twenty five K. Not bad, not bad. Anybody else got some gaming news or something? A game they would like to see 
an older game they would like to see. Sega was originally planned for a quintology, ended after the second game. I love that game. I don't know that game. But in in that in that vein, like a Xenosaga, which we'll get to someday. I would like to go through the Xenosaga trilogy just so I can get through it. I'm not counting Xeno Gears because it's a uh, superior and it's own game. Uh, <laughs> but I would like to go through the the uh, through Xenosaga one, two, and three. Because the only way I'm getting through two again is to stream it. Anyway. You know, it was set to have more games. Seven, if I remember correctly. Zero Gear seemed to be one of those games that people either love or hate. Um, in my experiences, more people love Xeno Gears than hate. The people who hate Xeno Gears. Usually the hate stems from they didn't go far enough into the game. At least that's how it was years and years ago. You know, internet and time has changed that. But um, Xeno Gears is excellent. It has some old, some old school mechanics that that can be really annoying, like um, permanent missables. And... That's the main thing: permanent missables. But Xeno Xeno Gears is a great game to me. Yeah, sometimes the story can get a bit. It can get really heady. What I mean by that is it can be like a... Uh, controversial is not the right word. But it, can, it has some strong opinions that if you really want to dig deeper into it, you could definitely... Definitely see what it was going, what it was going for there. I'm trying to tiptoe around it. <laughs> um, but the characters... The storyline, other than that side of it, is really great. Uh, the characters are really enjoyable. I always really like the characters. They're interesting. Interesting. Have some... Uh, some nice... Side plots, I guess you could call them. Last after game Dungeons boss in World of Final Fantasy was with Xeno Gear. Oh, for real? That's awesome. <laughs> really good stuff. Like one must protect the reality of Xeno. <laughs> it's really good. I, I need to I need to stream Xeno Gears someday and and go through it. That's a good one. That's a really good one from PS One era. So many great. Uh, so many great RPGs during that time. To me, a lot of my favorite RPGs come from SNES to PS2. Are some of my favorite RPGs in general. That 
that area. So NES, PS1, PS2. So many good, fun, in some ways ahead of their times RPGs. Some of them are. Good, good stuff. I've played some on the channel. I've streamed some of them. Some of the Final Fantasies. Uh, Super Mario RPG. Just name some I've done on the channel. There's a lot of I have. I just haven't gotten around to yet. Grandia 2, when I get around to that later. Like, still want to stream that. I haven't forgotten about that. Literally, Rain and Land discuss, says, Hey, doesn't this cotton look like it belongs to? Interrupted by, by Rain. No, it belongs right here. That makes us, that Rain just saved a reality far bigger than Grimoire. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's funny. That's good. I know. Uh, Fade, you, you've seen him. You, you've seen him around on the channel. Who's awesome and helped me a ton back in the day to help uh, try to help grow the channel. He gave me good advice on the channel. I've I've talked about him quite a bit before. Um, I know he he loves Xeno Gears. I always thought it was really good. Like I said, some some people don't like it. Um, but I always thought it was really, really good. Um, Xeno Saga is a completely different story. <laughs> Consistence of Xeno Saga is usually, is usually this. Um... One is a, a lot of people tend to like one, but it is you watch a lot of cutscenes. Like I've joked about it, I want to stream Xeno Saga One uh, just so because the first episode I can make some popcorn. The first stream I can make some popcorn and just watch along with all of you. But overall, people generally like. Xeno Saga 1. Xeno Saga 2 is absolute garbage. And Xeno Saga 3 tries to make up for it, but it was mostly just trying to end it, but it's still pretty good. That's your synopsis of what people think of Xeno Saga. <laughs> At least that from my experiences. Two does have a few very interesting things, though, going for it that aren't absolutely bad, but a lot of it is bad. But it does have a few things that are cool. And personally, my line of thinking falls in with those, with kind of that general consensus, at least, that I've experienced that being the general consensus that I know. Um, I like Xenosaga 1 alright. Um, I really don't don't like Xenosaga 2. I like it less than, than general consensus. 
there's like two things that I really like about it, and that's it. Um, in Xeno Saga Three, I thought it was I thought it was good. The the story was just what, you know, because Xeno Saga does that. The story's really just not not great to me. But yes, yes, it is going to be. That's why I'm talking about random stuff. Um. Well, maybe, maybe not. I don't feel like doing this for three hours. We may go try the final boss again. But if I do that, I'll end up stopping this stream and then restarting it. Just for when I post it on YouTube. And I'll end up posting this as like an extra section. But the, the gameplay was good in 3 and I liked the characters in, th in, in 3. What they did with some of the characters. So. Get back to it. There you go. I'm talking about the Xeno Saga series. Would be eight because I forgot to change the uh, the thing. But it would basically be this would just be extra. This would be like extra one, and then the next would be stream eight, where we go try to fight the boss. I might do that in about an hour. Or basically, when I just get too bored of this. But now we're sound. Sounds decent. We'll see how much CP we have and how much the characters level up. Because you can spend a bunch on Sarah and Noel and not feel like you've got a lot out of it. <laughs> That's the, the downside of it. It just stinks we have to do this. I mean, we don't have to do this, because we got close last time. But I'd hate to do all the fights and then... The rest of the stream is just us losing over and over. I'd rather do this, give us more of a fighting chance, and then go try a few times. And see if it was enough. And then if it wasn't, then we do the same thing tomorrow. I really don't feel like going monster hunting and material hunting. And we could do that. We go try to get better monsters, power them up. If you're gonna do quote post game unquote stuff, like try to get all the fragments, do super bosses and things like that, you're gonna need better monsters than what I got. Well, the silver chocobo is good, but. The uh, the Ravager will need to be better. Let's get back to it. 400 AF. Yes, I am in uh, Academia 400 AF. I love how I can just sit here and mash the A button. Like, I'm literally looking for stuff to talk about on my phone. 
I'm looking for gaming news. <laughs> this is mindless grinding, which that's okay. Like I don't mind this kind of grinding because I can do other stuff. I can talk with you in chat. I can look up stories. I can do other things while I do this. Heck, I could walk away if I wasn't streaming. <laughs> they don't do enough damage to take down anybody. So just the NPCs alone can do it. It goes slower, but I could just walk away. <laughs> Which I'm I'm totally fine with. This is okay. I know Fallout 76 had a had a big um, that does had a big thing for Fallout 76 a few days ago. I haven't watched it. Um, Doctor Whovian, my friend Doctor Whovian, talk uh, talked to me about it. Um, I hadn't heard this though. That apparently it's going to have microtransactions, which what game doesn't have microtransactions these days? But. Uh, limited to cosmetics alone, which is how you should do microtransactions. So I'm fine with that. People are like, game shouldn't do microtransactions. No, we're having microtransactions. It's just <laughs> you can you can get rid of that pipe dream. We're gonna have microtransactions in games. It's too profitable not to. But what we should. What we should fight is when microtransactions give um, give an unfair advantage. That's why smart games and games are getting really smart about it are just making them cosmetics. So it's good to hear that they are just cosmetics. It does it demands I put a mobile phone number to log in. I'll get first, which I cannot do until you'll ha probably have to uh, um, you'll probably have to talk to customer service or something about that. I wouldn't know. I'm not on. I'm not on Facebook. I'm gonna have to check that out. The uh, Fallout 76 thing. See that later.
Um. What else we got going on? In the world of world of gaming. I can't blame you there, base. <laughs> Never heard of it. September 10th for the PS4 is going to be the uh, Blackout beta for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 for people that have pre-ordered it, which I have not because I'm not feeling everything I've seen from this this Call of Duty. I don't know. I'm more excited for Battlefield 5. Personally, I like Battlefield. I really enjoyed Battlefield 1, so I'm looking forward to, to 5. Hoping it's good. Yeah, that's that's coming. So. to get the remake of RE2. Oh yes, a lot of people are excited for that. I know Doc's super excited for that. That that'll be that'll be a big one for a lot of people for sure. Me too depending when it comes out. <laughs> There's just so much stuff.
Interesting. This was a few days ago. Um... The uh, Elder Scroll card game, Elder Scroll Legends. Pete Hines came out. It was um, head of Bethesda, and has said that uh, may not release the Elder Scrolls Legends on systems that don't allow crossplay. Cool. I think there are some some games need to take the stand. And the, the big culprit is, is some For some reason, they just don't want to play to play nice with cross, cross-platform, and I just don't understand why. It was a big thing with Fortnite that I believe I've talked about before. Um, I think games need to do that. Be like, if you don't have cross-play, because cross-play is such a big deal to our game because it's online or you know, it would benefit, like especially like a card game then we're just not going to release on your console I think that would be a a a uh, If enough, if enough titles did it, I think that might get Sony to cave. If enough, if enough titles did it, I think that would be great. Because, like, even Xbox, Microsoft, and uh, Nintendo have been like, "Yeah, we'll do, we'll do Fortnite, we'll do crossplay." Because I'm tired of there not being crossplay in in games. Like it stinks, especially when um, when there's co-op. I think that's a practice that needs to that you know it has time or whatever, and it's time for it to go away. Crossplay needs to be a thing. I I I think that's a a very bold thing to do for Bethesda. I know it's one of their you know, Elder Scrolls Legends. I don't know how how big the uh, audience for Elder Scrolls Legends is, but I think that's the first step. It could be the first step towards something something happening. Say, you know, what? you don't allow crossplay. We're not even gonna put put our game on there. Other people can enjoy it on these things instead. Sometimes you gotta play hardball.
back to it. Um, what else? talk about <laughs> How are your plans about what to LP next? Are there any? That's a great question. Um, yes, and yes. <laughs> are there any? How are your plans? They're good, and yes. Um, uh, the next thing I plan to Let's Play is the StarCraft 2 trilogy. I've thought about playing StarCraft 1 and going through it and Brood War, but I think they give you a synopsis at the beginning of Wings of Liberty. I hope they do. <laughs> I believe they do. If not, I'll just give a synopsis because um, I don't. I really want to play StarCraft Two, and I don't feel like going back and playing StarCraft One right now. Um, that's. That's the next thing I want to do for sure, is it. Um, I haven't started it yet, uh, just because I want to finish recording Mario Rabbits, and I'm actually close on that first. Um, so there's that. And this is, this will probably be a little later, but the other thing, the other Let's Play that'll be coming up will be Octopath Traveler. Because I want to play through the game. And that should be fun as well. So hopefully I'm going to start recording those next week hopefully that's that's the plan if not a little sooner if not maybe uh, sometime over the weekend uh, those are the next two let's plays lined up are those two let's get back to it which I'm highly excited for both because I haven't done a strategy game on the channel in a little while. StarCraft Mass Recall, a fan-made StarCraft 1 campaign remake in StarCraft 2. Like, that's cool. 
Like, that's neat, but I want what, what I meant was not that I want to play StarCraft 2, I want to play the StarCraft 2 campaign. <laughs> I can go back and play StarCraft 1. Like, I, I love StarCraft 1. What I'm saying is, I want to... I want to get to the StarCraft 2 campaign. I want to replay Wings of Liberty because I loved Wings of Liberty. Um, Heart of the Swarm was a blast, and I can't wait to remake it because I let's played it once before, way back in the channel's history. <laughs> and then I'll finally get to play Leg uh, Legacy of the Void, which I've not gotten to play. And finally, get into that story. I love the way they did the the uh, campaigns in StarCraft, StarCraft Two. Loved how they did those, and I can't wait to uh, I can't wait to play Legacy of the World. Yep, I played it when it released Heart of the Swarm. <laughs> Now I have access to to all three, so I want to go through them. All. It should be a ton of fun. I'm I've decided not to go back and watch the Heart of the Swarm, my Heart of the Swarm playthrough, and see if I make the same cha the uh, same choices or not. See if I've changed over over the years, just my play style for. Uh, for strategy games and things. Or just my playstyle as a Let's Player. Just see if I've, I've changed over the years. Or if I really haven't, I make the same choices. Should be fun. Should be a lot of fun. Hooray me! <laughs> You've seen it. <laughs> yes, I think that was... It's in the single digits. We've talked about it before, so I want to, I want to say nine for some reason. That number's popping into my head. Because I looked at it fairly recently to see which Let's Play it was, what number. I want to say nine. Yeah, really old Let's Play. <laughs> It should be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to doing that. So if you ever saw my um, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones LP, the way it's going to... Or, or Millennium would be a better example. My Millennium Let's Play. I'm gonna have two. I'm gonna have a separate playlist. So I'll have I'll have one playlist that will have the entire trilogy. You can watch from um, Wings of Liberty all the way to to Legacy of the Void, and I'm gonna include Nova probably after that, or maybe after. I haven't decided exactly when I'm gonna do Nova Ops. The yeah, Nova Covid Ops pack. But I'm gonna do that one too, and it'll all be in one playlist. I'll do Wings of Liberty, then Heart of the Swarm, then Legacy of the Void. Then I'll have separate playlist for each one as well. So I'll have a playlist that's just Wings of Liberty, just Heart of the Swarm, just Legacy of the Void, and just the Nova Nova Covid Ops. There's there's how that th that's going to happen. Go back into lurker mode. Oh, so you're going to dig and start doing damage to ground units. Neat. <laughs> But yeah, 
Really looking forward to doing that. Really looking forward to Octopath Traveler. Um, I didn't play the demo. Uh, now you dug back up. And you're not doing damage. I'm representing StarCraft because I'm talking about StarCraft. <laughs> Was. It was my fifth Let's Play? Oh man, it was even older than I thought. Hardest Swarm was my fifth Let's Play. Yeah, I decided to do it because Heart of the Swarm had just come out and I was like, oh man, this will be my first day one thing. That will be really cool. And I had issues and it wasn't cool. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought about calling it my, uh, calling it S StarCraft 2. Well, you know how I put now, you know, Syndra plays StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm. And I'm going to, um, put remastered, like, put something like remastered LP or something like that. Because I'm playing through it again. <laughs> because I've got it once on the channel, even though it was years and years ago. But it's something like that, because I think it'd be really funny. Grinding for item drops or something. Hi, I am BGS. Welcome to the stream. Um, I am grinding for CP, because uh, we didn't do well against the final boss. I didn't do well against the final boss. So I'm just talking with chat while I while I um, mindlessly grind. Let's get back to it. Oh what? Who? Just because I think, because I just kind of burned through the game as fast as I could, I think my characters are uh, woefully under leveled. So. That stinks. <laughs> I just need some more. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Maze is correct. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh... I feel like I'm kind of punished for playing the first part of the, uh... for playing most of the game well. <laughs> Which stinks. How much money do we have? Alright, we have 45k. Um, and 57,000 CP. So, hey, we did well. Keep going. I'm not taking any chances. Bahamut fight's stupid. So I'm going to just I think if I have about double the HP I have now, with all the other stat boost, it won't be a problem.
Might be no problem whatsoever. Remember how fast the 150,000 CP disappeared in 13, right? That starts to happen here too, though not to, not anywhere near that, uh, to that extent. But I can remember anyway. That we'll see anyway. Because, I mean, we were close. It just it was just taking forever because we just don't do all that much damage. And again, that's just, I believe, to low levels. Also, gear. But I can't find the gear I want, so... I guess I could look it up, right? Be the one thing I'd look up. Anybody else got some fun gaming news they wanna wanna talk about? I've talked about everything I can think of. Or find. <laughs> That's recent. Uh, sounds lame. Put the star blossom seed. Lame. That's not something I want to deal with. <laughs> Just upgraded your DDR machine recently? Nice. That's cool. I never had the athleticism, nor um, what I'm looking for. Speed to play DDR. <laughs> the general athleticism to play DDR. <laughs> reflexes. There you go. That's what, that's what I was thinking. Reflexes. And Windows XP, so I couldn't output the capture card for the Cruddy hardware. I've been put together a Linux box. That's no longer for Nice, that's cool. We're such a great team. Uh, a few of my friends played a lot of DDR. A lot. Definitely get the appeal. Uh, you can put whatever music you want on there. I think. Yeah, you can just put it on, like, the one my, uh, like, one of my, uh, old friends had, had a DDR machine, I can't remember which one it was, but you, you can, on, on his, you can put songs on, like, a flash drive, and then you hook the, you put the flash drive into the machine, and then you can put the songs on the machine and play them. So you can have a whole bunch of different songs. It's really cool. Batman Arkham games and Lego Batman games currently 75% down on Steam. Yeah, I saw that. Thought about it. I've played the Arkham games before. 
probably Step Mania, unless you mean an actual ITG arcade machine. Was it? Was it in the groove? Maybe it was that. Like he had the actual big thing in his house. Like it was the actual where you step and stuff. Like it was the actual arcade machine. <laughs> Put in the USB? Okay, then it was in the group. I didn't pay that much attention to it because I think I played it once and that was it. <laughs> I did like one song. I was like, ugh, I am too fat for this. <laughs> Know your limits. <laughs> All right. Let's say 10, 15 more minutes and then we'll we'll spin the CP and give it another shot. Monitor from a DDR Extreme. USB slots are on the computer tower and on the faceplate is a cabinet the same idea. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes the Steam page is silly. So the plan will basically be the same as it was last time because we almost won, I just need better stats. Uh, we'll use Triple Sentinel, we'll use Tortoise. Whenever we see a big attack coming, we'll switch to Try Disaster to build up Chain Gauge. We'll be using aggression for um, to do a bunch of damage. Once we've built up the chain gauge, which is what I'm in now, by the way, aggression. The dash W is wide. That makes it so the AI will use more area attacks. That's just to help me grind. But I'll do normal. One down, more to go. Um. And I've been debating on getting rid of combat, uh, combat clinic, and going just straight three medics. That way we can try to heal up really fast after well, Jet Bahamut throws out something, something silly like Giga Flare, Terra Flare, things like that. Also, I never said hi, Lucian. Hi, Lucian! So the strategy will be mostly similar to what we were doing yesterday. Just the exception is I'll have like 70,000 more CP worth of stats. And hopefully that'll be enough. That way the fight doesn't last like an hour and then we lose. <laughs> He's gonna be fine. I believe in you. I'm glad you all do. <laughs> no, I I believe you. Well. I don't know you, of course, but still, <laughs> I'm glad you believe. I'm glad you believe overall, chat. Probably going back to Monster Hunter World. I need to go back to Monster Hunter World. A, I never beat the story. B, it was just a lot of fun. It's just not fun playing alone. Like, I wish I had people to play with. Oh, 
Oh, I found your channel. Have this game on follow because I love the 13 trilogy and love the people that still play them on Steam. Oh, on, on stream. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for being here, though. I hope you I hope you stick around, not just for this, but for other stuff. Um, full warning, I don't really like the trilogy. So... Sorry? But we do try to have fun here. We do try to... Have fun and have a good time. Uh, since you haven't been here, I have played through the entire Final Fantasy series. So, one, like the numbered ones. So, like, one all the way up to now. <laughs> A few of them were Let's Played before. Um, like, I Let's Played 4 before. Before putting it on here. But, uh, most of them were streamed. And you can find it on my YouTube channel, which is the same as it is here. It's a Central 89. It was fun to do that. Correct. I did, I'm skipping the MMOs uh, because they're MMOs and I'm not gonna pay a subscription just to show it off for a couple of days. <laughs> So I'm, I'm skipping 11 and uh, 14. And I played 15 when it came out. So I had already done 15. Uh, without all the really cool DLC and stuff it has now. To make an already fantastic game even better. Uh, I played it before. I played it on release. Um, but I'm mainly an RPG person. I do play other things. I play all kinds of games. You played the incomplete version then? Yeah, basically. <laughs> but it was still awesome. I still had a blast. I, I really enjoyed 15. I played the alpha, basically. But it was still really good. It was still awesome. Um, but I'm I'm a big RPG person. That's definitely my wheelhouse. That's why I have the most experience in. And I love RPGs. So that's mainly what you'll find on my channel. But I do play other things. I play shooters. I play action games. You know, adventure games. I play strategy games. Strategy probably being the second... second most expertise even though I'm not great at them <laughs> uh, but I, I definitely have a lot of video game uh, video game experience mainly RPGs RPGs is definitely my my wheelhouse and most known found some great games through your channel yeah, like Echoes of Etheria. Oh, man. That's still one of my all-time favorite LPs that I've done. So glad I gave that a chance. Listen to a few people who recommended it on the channel. A few commenters recommended it. It was like, you need to try this. Yeah, I want to see you. Let's play this. I'm like, okay, I'll look at it. Decided to... Decided to give it a shot, and man... Was not disappointed. So good. I played some great. Like, I would love to have like an indie, indie section on the channel, or small, you know, indie slash small company section on the channel for RPGs. There's just not that many out there. Not that many that are at least decent anymore.
But I have some great ones on the channel, though. Last last Dream, Last Dream World Unknown. Last Dream 2, whenever it comes out. Echoes of Etheria. Skyborn's not bad. Um... What are some other ones I've, I've played on the, the channel? I feel like I'm missing missing one or two. Arafel was a lot of fun. Yeah, I liked Arafel a lot. That was recent, and I think it was it was good. Yeah, we, we've definitely played some good ones for sure. Some great ones. Not even good. That's me underselling. We played some great ones. Some buy at full price ones. You know, some I can't believe I got this for 15 bucks. Oh yeah, Cosmic Star Heroin. Loved that one. Um, Cthulhu Saves the World is one of my all-time favorite Let's Plays. There's that one by z -Boyd Games. Uh, Breath of Death 7 was fun. It's fine, Maze. I didn't feel it either, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah. If there's like the whole put your best foot forward thing one of the let's plays I would if somebody asked me what's a let's play you recommend from your channel that people should watch that would be in my top five would be Cthulhu Saves the World because I had so much fun with it. We just had fun, we laughed a bunch. I, I feel like I made a lot of good jokes. Um, smiling a lot. And that one was, was really a really good let's play. Not just not just a really good game, but for me personally, I feel like I did a great job on let's playing it. Which those of you that know me, I usually don't. <laughs> uh, give myself credit, which I know is a flaw I have. But that one, that one, I'm really proud of. I'm really proud how that one went. Someday, sometime, Trails in the Sky, second chapter. I know, I keep putting it off. If I did it, I'd stream it. I'd probably stream it. I don't think I could let's play into the Trails in the Sky year. That was... See, that's the opposite. That's, that's one of the ones... That's one of the ones I wish I could go back and redo. Was was Trails in the Sky. I'm not proud of of how that one went. I don't think I could do a let's play. Big props to those who can keep their banter and game descriptions going that long. <laughs> I do a really bad job. I <laughs> I'll be honest. I have I have too much dead air. Some for some episodes. Either I just don't have anything to talk about. There's nothing really going on in game. I don't just didn't have energy that day. Whatever the reason may be, uh, there are plenty of episodes where I just have dead air for minutes. And 
you, you just you just always try to improve. I have years of let's playing experience now, and unless you do a bunch of a bunch of cuts, you're you're always behind on that. Because if the game's slow in points, you either a have to think of something to talk about. Or it's just dead air. And sometimes I, I find myself either getting wrapped up into the game. Or I just don't don't think of anything to talk about. And there's just lulls I have. So I'm far from perfect. Far from entertaining. Far from being super witty. Or giving you like speedrunning tactics or anything like that. Um... My strong point as a Let's Player is that I'm average. <laughs> what I mean by that is you're never going to get terrible gameplay, more than likely. You're not going to want... Hopefully, hopefully for the most part, you're not going to want to throw something at the monitor screaming, why don't I do this? Sure, you're still going to want to do that at some points, but less than other channels out there. <laughs> And I do have my moments where I'm funny, I'm, I'm witty, and I have some fun jokes or puns or things like that. But I'm not super entertaining like some channels out there. I do everything well. I'm not a speedrunner, I'm not a pure entertainer, I'm not a comedian. But I do things well. Unfortunately, that's not what gets you a bunch of views and things on YouTube. <laughs> on YouTube or Twitch. People want to see either somebody just be super funny or be super great at a game. And I'm not, I'm not those. So I'm, I'm balanced. Play spell force is sometimes feels like okay same strategy as the last three maps see you in 20 minutes when my base is up right see that happens in games too when you're let's play you start noticing things that maybe you didn't think about before there are games i've gone through and said man i love this game but it wasn't a great game let's play wise because it's either super repetitive or there are lots of parts where there's nothing really going on. So you either A, do a lot of editing, which some people do, or B, you're just super entertaining through it. You tell stories, you tell jokes, you, you have something to talk about, whether it's real life or news or opinions on something. <clears throat> joking about the game. Um, if you're with somebody else, if you're co-commentating or something, you have some banter back and forth. That's where having a second person would be... would be great. Because then you just end up talking about something random for... 20 minutes or whatever. While you're waiting to get to the next part. And most of the times I don't have that. <laughs> what are we at? 70k. Alright. Let's save. And return to the historian. Academia 500 AF. Okay, because that was just grinding, here's what's going to happen. Don't leave. <laughs> I'm going to stop the stream. Because I'm going to post this is just bonus. Like an extra. And then I'm going to restart the stream. So when I post this on YouTube, people that 
just want to see the the gameplay can can start here. And then they can watch the extra banter if they want to. I always try to think of the, the viewer. Sometimes I'm not great at it, but I do try. So, I'm going to restart the stream. I will be right back. 